arm assembly one, for what argument does this program print win with a variable 68, two, and three? So they've given us this file. You can see here is the string you win. So if we look down here in main, we will call put s with you win if we end up right here. So how do we get there? We need this comparison to be equal to zero of the return value of function, which takes the parameter, converts ASCII to integer, calls func. So we're gonna take some parameter, we're gonna pass it to func. We want the return value to be zero because not equals goes to the bad place down here where it prints you lose. So now we'll come up here to func. We take in a parameter in the register w0, we store it on the stack in sp, plus 12, I'm gonna call that x. We store 68 at sp plus 16. We store two at sp plus 20. We store three at sp plus 24. There's a lot of crazy extra loads and stores go on in this function. So we load from sp 20, which is two, and we put that in w0. We load from sp plus 16, which is 68. We put that in w1. We do a logical shift left, so w0 is 68, shifted left 2, which is equivalent to multiplying by 4. It gives us 272, and then we store that on the stack at the stack pointer plus 28. We then load it immediately back into register w1. So w1 is 272. We load sp24, which was 3, in register w0. We do an integer division, 272 divided by 3, drop the remainder is 90. We store that at sp plus 28, and then load it right back into w1. We take w0 to be x, that's the value that got passed in, we're gonna subtract 90 minus x. Remember, we want this thing to be zero, which means we want x to be 90. So we figure out what we want. We want x to be 90, and we have to put in this picoctf flag format, so it'll be picoctf. We want 90 in hexadecimal, eight, um, characters long of hexadecimal because it's 32 bits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five A. And there we go. Um, 